whether you deconstruct or demolish a structure, it's gone. So I think in a way it's a bit of wordplay. Tonight, some are skeptical of city plans to tear down a historic gazebo in Everett's Clark Park with the promise to rebuild it potentially somewhere else. Now, Dog Park is set to replace that gazebo. King 5's Cornelius Hawker is in Everett with this story. After standing more than a century in Clark Park, this gazebo's days are numbered. It kind of sets a bad example when the city tears down its architectural um, historic pieces. Yeah. Teresa Gimmer serves on the Historic Commission for the City of Everett. She and others fought to preserve the past as the city moved to pave the way for the future. This is Teresa at a board meeting back in June. The question has been asked, but it's never been satisfactorily answered why the gazebo can't coexist with a dog park. In the same meeting, others came forward with why they want the gazebo removed. Their main reasons revolved around crime. The neighbors that live closest to Clark Park support the removal of the gazebo. You've heard from several of them about the activities that occur inside the gazebo due to the privacy of its location. You've heard about drug deals, drug use, violence, including a stabbing, and even folks yelling at the high school women's tennis team. The city council unanimously decided to move forward with building the dog park and removing the gazebo. I think the gazebo was made a scapegoat for a lot of bad behavior in the neighborhood. Teresa believes the decision sets a bad precedent. I think it's important to honor our history, and I think it's important to not lose um, pieces of our history because that they're one of the reasons that they gave was that because it's in, in bad condition. Whenever this gazebo is finally taken down, the Parks Department will store it and protect it for future use. Now, the city did note it's going to take some time to find a suitable new location. And as for that dog park that's being built, it's set to open next summer. In Everett, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.